Good morning, everybody. Uncle Wooly here with some more Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII Reunion. This will be part four of the first playthrough. My goodness. Good morning, good morning. Who is first? Paco? Good to see you, dude. It's been, uh, been a little while. Good to see you, dude. Also, DJ Wife. Good to see you as well. Oh, dude, thank you for the resub. Seven heckin' months. My goodness. Can we get some hearts in chat for Paco, please? Good morning. Katie, DJ wife, Paco, good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Paco, how the heck are you, my friend? Thank you again, seriously. Seven months, holy cow. Holy cow. That's crazy. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. And I'm sorry if I'm uh, sounding a little bit gravelly this morning. I uh, had trouble waking up. <laughs> had trouble waking up. I decided to do a little cardio before bed, and maybe that wasn't the best idea, or also the best idea. I don't know. It's still debatable, I think. Still debatable. <laughs> maybe I should have saved it for after stream today. Who knows? <laughs> 
But it's Friday. We made it through the week, right? We made it through the week. It's Final Fantasy Friday. Everything's good. It's time for the weekend, right? Ah, oh, I'm excited. I'm excited. Not only for uh, more Crisis Core, but the weekend is going to be uh, it's going to be pretty nice. Hopefully, if you've got any big plans, your uh, things are all set for that. If not, well, hopefully you're able to get some rest because uh, the week uh, it's been a week this week. I tell you what. <laughs> anyway, I'll just get uh, all the rambling out of the way here and uh, we'll hop into some gameplay right away this morning. Uh, back with uh, Zack the Puppy. Or Zach Fair, the uh, best boy of Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> amazing. I don't know what the hell's going on in the most wonderful way. <laughs> Absolutely, DJ Wife. That is this week uh, in a nutshell. <laughs> Me and Yobi. Um, you and Mattis hanging out this weekend, Katie. <laughs> DJ Wife, thanks for using your custom sound. Thanks for being around long enough, supporting me long enough to get those 30,000 hot Venus units. Uh, going to get piercings tomorrow. Just because. Hey, that's cool. That's cool. So is he getting a septum piercing? Tongue piercing? I'm kidding. He's probably just getting another earring, right? Maybe that's none of my business. I don't know. <laughs> It's funny. Uh, the one stream of Crisis Core, we started uh, with talking about his hips not lying, and now we're talking about what piercing he's getting. I just, I just feel like uh, <laughs> our conversations regarding him uh, in these early morning streams are uh, a little bit all over the place. <laughs> in her ear and maybe the nose. Nice. Nice. I hope those go well. Hopefully they're not too painful and hopefully the healing process is uh, infection free because that is a always a big worry during uh, piercing times. So, But I'm sure you're going to a reputable place so that uh, likely won't be a problem. He scurred. Oh, you absolute babe. Mattis Dog, thank you for that gifted sub to Katie. Thank you very much, Katie. Enjoy the emotes. Enjoy 30 days of no ads, courtesy of the maddest lad himself. Thank you very, very much, my friend. Let's lift a big old cheers to you. All the thanks. Thank you very, very much for that. All right. Oh, I love this game. This is so good. <laughs> Peta, welcome in, dude. Good morning. Everybody's here. Everybody's up early. What are you doing up so early? My goodness. Uh, Peta, have you played Final Fantasy VII? Have you played uh, Crisis Core at all? This was a PSP title back in the day, so a lot of people kind of missed out on it, myself included. Uh, but it's really, really good. The remaster, and it's not... PlayStation exclusive. It's on everything. PC, Nintendo Switch, you name it. So uh, it's not uh, as limited as the Final Fantasy VII Remake has been. Praise be. Happy Pines Day, Maddest. Happy Pines Day. And uh, good luck with the piercing. So is that going on today or tomorrow? And we made it last time to Mako Reactor 5. And we also got treated to one of the best cutscenes in all of uh, in all of Final Fantasy last week. It was really good. Had to use the facilities about a half hour ago, and haven't decided to go back to sleep yet. I I feel that um, the dogs have taken to wanting to go uh, OUT like in the middle of the night a couple of times this week, and I'm a person that doesn't usually take bio breaks uh midnight and so for me to get up it just gets my mind going and then i can't go back to sleep so then i suffer from the uh ye olde insomnia so it's, it's been a week with that but they slept through the night last night thank goodness so uh we're ready to go today we're ready ready to go but i feel that getting up just kind of gets the brain going enough that it's you know can i go back to sleep maybe maybe not Tomorrow, uh, so it'll be a tame pint stay today. That is fair. That is fair, my friend. Stay hydrated. Have one or two pints, you know. 
one or one or two is uh, good, you know, especially with the pints, you got good B vitamins. So there we go. Hey, PlayStasia, welcome in. Welcome in. Treasure Princess. I'm looking for someone who would go on treasure hunts with me. Would you like to team up? If you're interested, I want you to prove yourself first. Somewhere out in the fields, there's supposed to be a treasure hidden by Shinra's General Affairs Department. If you manage to find it, I'll let you in. You can get your hands on some really rare items by becoming a treasure hunter. Not a bad deal, is it? No, no, I don't think so. Good luck. To the... <laughs> It, it went to the spam folder. It's pretty much like the uh, what's it? The Nigerian prince uh, emails. So they were playing off of that. <laughs> oh, that's funny. If you can find the treasure, I'll let you into my club. Still have a few pints, uh, you know. Trash the place. Have a good time. Nothing crazy. Flip a few tables. <laughs> oh goodness. Yeah, good to see you, PlayStasia. Um, also, thank you for checking out some of the uh, stuff I put out on YouTube, by the way. That is uh, much, much appreciated. I have taken to putting a lot more of my um, Twitch VODs out on YouTube, and because I can't be bothered to edit them, I've at least included some chapters, so it's a lot easier to uh, navigate them. So if you miss uh, streams, I'm trying to keep that updated best I can. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Okay. So I'm probably skipping ahead on stuff because Sephiroth was up there. So before I get too far here. Oh, I was supposed to do that. Okay. Oh, you haven't played this or many in general. I know you've played five, right? I think we talked about that before. And when it comes to the uh, pixel remasters, uh, I highly recommend those to uh, to anybody because they are so good. Oh, jeez! Let's just limit break this guy. <laughs> Prove your honor to me. Hey, Samalam! Welcome in. Good to see you. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. How are you doing? Oh, yeah. uh, PlayStation, I won't be playing uh I won't be playing that on stream. I and I never really had any plans to play it on stream, so um, I know it's a pretty divisive game as far as uh, people's thoughts on it and, and the whole subject in general, but I had originally not planned to play Activating it on stream. Just uh just because it's kind of open enough and I have enough other games on my backlog that it just kind of... Didn't kind of fit in, if you will. Oh yeah! Conflict resolved. Yeah, there's been a lot of talk about it. Uh... <laughs> Especially amongst streamers, uh, amongst non-streamers and all that. And I just, uh, <laughs> you know, I like to avoid all the controversy and all that. So that might be the, the easiest uh, way to back out of it, I think. But <laughs> uh, Get a little more sleep for now. Hey, PETA, get some good rest, my friend. Can we get some hearts and chat for PETA? Have a wonderful, wonderful mid-morning nap. <laughs> Hopefully, you're able to wake up and feel rested for the day. My friend. Enjoy your uh, enjoy your sleeps. Let me get some hearts and chat for Peter, please. Do what you want. Playing it because I love the series, not the author. That's fair. That's fair. Yep. Uh, and I'm not gonna judge anybody. For, for doing what they want to do. 
I think all sides of it are kind of a little bit, uh, I don't know. To me, I don't have any skin in the game on any of it, so I just... <laughs> Hollander's laboratory is right down this way. It's a private, unsanctioned facility. We may find leads on Angeal. All right, let's go. Was he going to say the same thing? Laboratory is right down this way. We may. F All right. So, for fans of the uh, the original uh, Final Fantasy VII, we're in Mako Reactor Five, and that is where Cloud and Tifa and Barrett fight the Airbuster. So little bit of a link up here as far as, you know, locations. It didn't get sorted into Hufflepuff, and I'm happy. Well, I did have the cutscene, uh, the training cutscene. Is that the one you're talking about, uh, PlayStasia? We did get that right at the end of uh, last stream. Yeah, the training cutscene was really, really good. Yeah. Yeah, that is one of the best cutscenes in, in all of Final Fantasy. <laughs> it is super good. I could have watched that for another half hour, to be to be honest. Activating <laughs> combat mode. Oh, no. I'm poisoned? I am poisoned. Oh, boy. Nope, I missed. Let's go. Let's go. Ooh. My cure leveled up. Okay, so poison doesn't last through battles. That's good to know. That's good to know. The door isn't receiving power. The source is... The source is the reactor. Open the valve on the <laughs> lowest level. That should open the door. Zach. Okay. Imagine that. That the source is the reactor. Amazing. Yeah. You know, that would have been cool of them to do, Sam Lam. I I agree there. Because this was a PSP title, so it actually comes from a handheld uh, game. And as such, it kind of, like, even though they've beefed up the graphics and redone the voice acting, it still shows that it was a handheld game. And so it would have been cool of them to uh, release it with the uh, Intergrade package or the Intermission DLC. Uh, but I will say I loved, absolutely loved, the Intermission DLC with Yuffie. And so I was happy to... Uh, to pay for that because it it was really good. I really really enjoyed it. Oh no. No, stop jumping on me. Take that. Oh. Zack Didn't mean to cure, but that's fine. Here we go. Oh, yeah. uh, are you talking about the uh, intermission DLC, Sam Lam? No Kate Sith? <laughs> or or Ketchy, uh, depending on how, or Catchy, however you want to pronounce it. So that's more of the uh, the Gaelic, Scottish Gaelic type of uh, pronunciation, the the catchy. I do like saying Kate Sith though. It's it's fun. So 
Sorry about the uh, coffee slurping ASMR. Sorry about that. <laughs> Character no one uses. <laughs> Activating combat That's fair. I very rarely, on uh, repeat playthroughs of 7, have... Uh, have Kate Sith in my party. Warm it's very over. rare. Prove your honor to me. I got hey, it. Vanos, welcome in. Good to see you. <laughs> and please, uh, on this one, I, I have not. This is my first playthrough entirely oh, yeah, of uh, Crisis Core, so please, no spoilers if there are any uh, in uh, in what was said there. But Vanos, good morning. Am I saying your name correctly, Vanos? Or Vanos. Oh, just playing FF7 again. There's a new mod out for PC that has full voice acting. Okay. Uh, is that the one from Suna Mods? Because uh, I'm thinking about doing another playthrough of Final Fantasy VII before Rebirth comes out. So I'm very excited to give that a try. Activating combat mode. Bring it on. Uh, Blizzard. Oh, ow. Don't hit me with fire. Oh, Conflict yeah. Result. <laughs> Just started it yesterday. Heck yeah. Um, yeah, I'm excited. So I'm curious how much of Final Fantasy I'm going to get through this year because I, I want to do this. I still have the last two pixel remasters to do, 5 and 6, and I want to play 16 when it comes out. So I'm I'm uh, a little way. torn on what I'm going to be able to fit in calendar-wise this year. And thank you for that new follow, too. That is much, much appreciated. Welcome on in. Welcome on in. Absolutely love Crisis Core with all my heart and hate the remake. Uh, I understand. There's a lot of people that don't like uh, the the things they introduced with like the, the plot ghosts and whatnot. Um... So I definitely understand uh, some of that. But I, I loved it from a pure nostalgia standpoint. I absolutely loved Remake. And uh, my wife and I went to the Remake Orchestra uh, last year in March. And oh my goodness, it was amazing. <laughs> and then uh, we went to Distant Worlds uh, just last month. Uh, all very, very good. Yeah, Distant Worlds, it was the 35th anniversary of Final Fantasy, and so they did uh, music throughout all of the games. Oh, so good. So, so good. Oh, the game mechanics. Okay, that's fair. Uh, one thing they could have done better, PlayStation, is the, uh, the aerial combat seemed very broken, right? So getting to your enemies that were like on crawling on walls or in the air, it was just kind of... It needed a jump of button or something. I feel like they they handled it well in this, uh, but it's still very, very similar to, uh, to Remake in that regard. Good work. Good work. Yeah, I know. Uh, hopefully it's only just a timed exclusive, uh, Vanos. Hopefully it comes out for PC and other platforms soon after uh, 16. I think it's till the end of the year. Uh, for the uh, PS5 exclusivity, though. Don't even know about It's Awesome. I'm, like, maxed out on everything on, on the main game of Final Fantasy VII, Vanos, or uh, level design and side quest, you know. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's fair. Oh, maxed out on this. Awesome. Yeah, the side missions are kind of fun. Just kind of, you know, breaks up the main story. How there, wretched. I kind of wish there was a little more to them, though, instead of just kind of, uh, you know, the side missions almost feel a little bit hollow, but I understand it's it was a handheld game. Kind of wish there was just a bit more to the story is all. OK, that's advancing the game with that. Actually, we should get those. 
Project G Summary. Objective, implant the cells of an ancient into a human fetus to imbue said fetus with the ancient's abilities. Uh, it was Hollander's experiment. The result was a normal child, which meant he failed. However... However... There, there's always the howevers. Report on the soldier degradation phenomenon. The heightened abilities of soldier members are maintained by a delicate balance of various genetic factors. A change in this balance could only be caused by a leak of genetic information, but this is not possible under normal circumstances. This phenomenon is unique to the soldier type, G. I'm getting woozy. <laughs> it was shortly before Genesis left. I'm sorry, but Zach is, uh, <laughs> oh, I had to read a little bit. I'm getting woozy. <laughs> the wound was superficial, but for some reason, Genesis wasn't healing. The man who treated him was Hollander. Hollander. Yep. Professor Hollander, how is Genesis? The problem is the Mako energy that seeped in through the wound. Is it treatable? First, he'll need a transfusion. You aren't viable. Why couldn't I be the donor? Is it the, the chip button syndrome, Mattis? A soldier, type G. Ah, uh, so Angel is uh, type G as well, then. I'm guessing. Oh, hey, we still got more. The Ancients Project Outline. It is now an undisputed fact that the life form excavated from the Earth is indeed of the ancient race spoken of in legend. Furthermore, history re records, or records, records that these ancients channeled the power of this planet to tear the earth asunder. Using the cells of the unearthed ancient, we have begun research on creating and mass producing a race with comparable abilities. The primary objective of this research is to significantly reduce Mako excavation costs. Of course, bottom line, baby. That is the Shinra way. <laughs> That is the most Shinra thing I've read all morning. Project G gave birth to the man we know as Genesis. Project G. Project Genesis. Contrary to this report, Genesis showed clear signs of change. Degrading? Not only that. Copies? Abominations. S Sephiroth. Hollander, I thought I'd find you here. You want to do something to me, eh? But then, who will stop Genesis and Angeal's degradation? Oh, he has that... like, sly way to his voice and mannerisms that are just, uh, completely untrustworthy. Who will stop their degradation, hmm? He's almost like the uh, red-white uh, guy from Ace Attorney. <laughs> Who will stop the degradation, hmm? Genesis. You won't take Hollander. <clears throat> Zach, go. Yeah. <laughs> Get him, Zach. <laughs> Still have PTSD about that trial. 
There is no hate, only joy, for you are beloved by the goddess. Hero of the dawn, healer of worlds. Loveless again, you never change. Three friends go into battle. One is captured, one flies away. The one that is left becomes a hero. A common story. If we were to enact it, would I be the one to play the hero? Or would you? It's all yours. Indeed. <laughs> After all, your glory should have been mine. Oh boy. How petty. In hindsight, perhaps. Now what I want most is the gift of the goddess. Dude, you are shedding feathers everywhere. Everywhere. You won't get away. Where is Angeal? Tell me! Oh, I bet there's a combat. Activating combat mode. Look at that. Oh, come on. Nope, nope. Come on now. That was just terrible. Oh yeah. Conflict resolved. Ooh, HP up, materia leveled up. That's nice. Love to see it. I know I have to run after him, but what about loot? What about loot? That's what we care about here. Okay, that's story, so. Hollander went this way. Oh, it's it's stopping me. <laughs> oh, is he gonna run out and close the door? Classic Hollander. <laughs> Activating combat mode. Here we go. Oh yeah. Uh nothing extra in here. Nope, guess not. Activating combat mode. Got him. Yeah, Blizzard is so slow to cast in in this and remake. Pretty much why I never use it. Conflict resolved. All right. Oh, this way. Love the music in this game, though. It is so good. Okay. Activating combat mode. Yeah, gotta get the loot. Here we go. Oh. Probably would have had a... Uh, Probably would have had a limit break there. Post a pick of my guy for this game. Uh, yeah, I do have a Discord, Vanos, if you uh, if you want to share there. I uh, All my socials are there. I do have manual approval on the Discord just so uh, we can keep the community uh, safe from hate raids and all that stuff. Uh, so feel free to share there if you would like. Soothing tones are making me drift off. Aw. Well, hopefully, uh, you're at a part of your day where you're able to drift off. If not, I feel kind of bad. <laughs> Suppose we're six hours in. It's almost noon, uh, UK time. 
so you know. Have a good little midday nap, right? I'm not much of a nap taker. Because for me, if I sleep uh, a whole lot in the middle of the day, I can't sleep at night whatsoever. Get up at midnight and stay up all oh yeah, see that that would uh that would be awful for me. I wouldn't be able to do that. Nailed an interview this morning, has a screening call in an hour and a half. She can't risk a nap. No. <laughs> stay awake, Katie. Stay awake. Okay? And I forgot to change my sensor button. Again. Again, I need to just program that because I got streamer brain all the time. But Katie, do you hear me? No <laughs> naps, okay? <laughs> oh, 6.30 a.m., work at 2 p.m.? That's fair. That's fair. Yeah, I'm uh, central time, uh, so for me, it's it's 5.30 at the moment. Activating combat mode. There we go. Oh, yeah. Conflict resolved. Hey, there we go. There's extra items. In Ohio, nice. Uh, despite all the crazy words they say about Ohio these days, uh, it, I haven't been there, but there's a lot of cool stuff there. So I don't buy into the only bad things are in Ohio rhetoric that's been going around lately. Crazy warm here for February is 64 yesterday. I'm jealous. We were in the 20s, low 30s for a high yesterday, and the wind was crazy. Crazy wind. And yes, wishing you the very best uh, with your screening call and rest of your interviewing, Katie. You got it. You got it. Activating combat mode. Uh, wrong guy. There we go. Sweet. Conflict resolved. Oh, got no damage on that one. Very nice. Activating combat mode. Oh, thunder. Conflict Did we resolved. do no damage again? Heck yeah. Heck to the yeah. Oh, these are the Angeal copy ones, right? Activating combat mode. Yeah, it's creepy how they have the Angeal face on them. There we go. Those enemies were frustrating in 7 Remake, too. The, uh, Sahagans. Alright. Hollander! You can't escape! So, Vanos, is, uh, Final Fantasy VII your favorite game I, uh, in the series, I take it? Or do you have another, uh, another favorite? And uh, which one was your first uh, Final Fantasy? And are they one and the same? For me, seven was my first JRPG, so uh, naturally, <laughs> it's it's got a huge, huge spot in my heart. Uh, I love a lot of the other Final Fantasy games, but seven just has that has that special spot in my heart. Uh, played Final Fantasy one, heck yeah! I I finally played that for the first time. Uh, I started it in December of 21, and I finished it in January, February of 22, and that was my first playthrough of that on the Pixel Remaster, and I loved it. Um, I have played one through four, finally, on the Pixel Remasters, so I still need to do five and six. But I've done seven, eight, nine, parts of 10, haven't done 12 or 13, and I've done 15. 
like seven probably uh, than this and 10. I need to fully play 10. Um, a friend of mine owned it back in the day and I only played it in bits when I went over to his house. So I never had that chance to play it back when and just as an adult, life kind of has gotten in the way a little bit. So we're going to be playing that sometime in the next year and a half. It's on the schedule. It needs to happen. Damn it! Out of my way! Activating combat mode. Hanky boys. Oh, it's ice for that one? What about this one? Oh, no. Okay, that main cutter is thunder. Oh, no MP? I need to get after it then. are cool. Oh, no physical attacks. Heck yeah. Oh, limit break. Let's go for it. Prove your honor to me. I got it. And it's a level five, too. Very nice. Very nice. We'll get caught up on chat here in just a moment. The battle is a little bit intense. Oh, AP cost zero infinite. Nice. If I can actually get a attack off here. Training hard, I hope. You better believe it. <laughs> Leveled up, too. All right. Let's see the results. There. Your data from last month. All right. Bring it. Me from last month. <laughs> I love this cutscene. No improvement whatsoever. Training's over. <laughs> Maybe I should leave him with Sephiroth for a while. Complete result. Oh, yeah. New game plus 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 on this 255 except luck and geez you've kind of maxed it out um are you playing on on playstation vanos or uh pc or another platform where you can do like uh all the achievements or all the trophies <laughs> and i assume you've probably you already done that too Ooh, Buster Sword. Angel. Working for Hollander now? What is it you're after? World domination. That's not even funny, man. How about revenge? For what? Angel! Oh. I've become a monster. A monster's objective is usually world domination or revenge. You're wrong. Those aren't the wings of a monster. Well then, what are they? Angel's wings. I see. Then what should an angel fight for, Zack? What do angels dream of? Angels dream of one thing. Please tell me. Being human, right? To be human. That one hurt. 
in the stomach and here. Uh, Betrayed by his mentor. Oh, Zack is such a good guy. It is sad. Uh, you bet I'm going to save. You bet. Angels dream of one thing. To be human. Tell me what happened. Mom? I... I... I want to help out a friend. But I don't know how I can do it. Hello? <laughs> Mom? No way. Hello? Aerith. Heaven? Not quite. <laughs> it's a church. Hey. Hmm? An angel? No, I'm Aerith. <laughs> you fell from the sky. Huh? Scared me. So you saved me, huh? Not really. Hello? That's all I did. <laughs> Thank you so much, Aerith. I'm Zack. I have to repay you somehow. Don't worry about it. No, no. Hmm. Aha. Hey, how about one date? <laughs> what is that? Don't be silly. Uh, <sighs> so for those that don't know, too, they got uh, Brianna White, who is the voice actress of Aerith in the remake. They got her to do uh, the voiceover uh, for this when they did the uh, remaster of the game, which is a, a very good touch, I think. Don't step on the flowers. Excuse me? Normally, people are more careful with flowers. <laughs> well, I guess I'm not normal. Oh. You don't see a lot of flowers in Midgar. They're like luxury items around here. They only grow here. Although, I planted some outside my house, too. <laughs> <laughs> if I were you... I'd sell them. Hmm? Midgar is full of flowers. Your wallet's full of money. Midgar full of flowers. Wallet full of money? Never thought of it that way. Yeah, she's naive enough to not think about it in a capitalistic manner. Yep. Yep, exactly. Um, but not only that, like there's a lot of mirroring, right? Like the uh, offering the date as as payment of being her bodyguard. So that's kind of the thing that Zach was offering a date in repayment. Um, falling from the Sector 5 Mako reactor to there. Exactly mirroring Cloud. So I've always been under the impression, this is me, that Zack and Aerith are totally meant to be together. And the only reason that relationship gets so close between her and Cloud is because of how much... Uh, and this is spoiler territory for anybody that hasn't played the OG game. Is uh, Cloud pulls so much, so much of his personality uh, and memories and things from Zack. So I think that's why him and Aerith got so close. But I've always been in the camp... Aerith and Zack, Tifa and Cloud. That's strong opinion for me on that. <laughs>
those are the pairings that I think are meant to be together. New limit break. Heck yeah. Okay, so we do have mission seven. Okay. So I will keep that in mind, Bonos. Thank you very much. Uh, let's see here. The exit? That door. Going already? No. Then look at the flowers a little more. Oh, man. Uh, so I have a little bit of PTSD from that episode of uh, The Walking Dead. Where they tell the girl to look at the flowers. So anytime somebody asks me to <laughs> look at the flowers, I get a little, uh, little sad. <laughs> High five. <laughs> I don't have a sound effect for that, so uh, just pretend you heard the slap sound. <laughs> you don't like that show? That's fair. That is fair. The, uh... I don't know why I saved twice there. I don't know why I saved twice. No, I don't want to go yet. Are you always here? Yeah. So, where are you going? Hmm. Don't know. I'll take you. Where? Hmm. Don't know. You just want to spend more time with me. <laughs> yeah. Huh? Wh huh? Oh, that's fun. I'm I'm We're liking this a lot. Under the plate, right? Sector five. The slums. Yeah. Main Street's over that way. There's lots of people. And you can go above. Ah. Well, I should be good once I make it there. Alright? Lead the way. <laughs> okay, yeah. let's go. There's so much mirroring happening here between what happened in the in the main game of Cloud and Aerith and uh, with Zack and Aerith here. So this is cool. This is really cool. Yeah, I, I think the earlier seasons are much better, Vanos. They, uh, things kind of dropped off in later seasons for me. Uh, but I've read some of the comics too. The comics are wonderful uh, if you're into zombies and, and that kind of thing. But what I really like about that show especially the earlier seasons is it really kind of delved into that humans are the the greatest threat that you can face during any apocalypse um the zombies are just tertiary if you will uh and that's one thing i really like about that the focus was on the human side of it and how the humans fight each other instead of the zombies being the main um uh, main threat even though that's a constant threat always there it's just uh yeah that whole thing so that that's what i enjoyed about it and i don't know if i've given you some puppy cam if you've seen my my doggos yet uh the one on the left they're usually switched around uh the one on the left is lucy she's a four-year-old shih tzu the one on the right is roxy she's a 13 year old jack russell they're both infinitely more adorable and awesome than i could ever be so most people hang out for them and of course they tolerate very mediocre gameplay and terrible puns in between sightings of the puppers. Good morning, girls. Good morning. <laughs> They're usually sleepy sleepy, but Lucy's tail is just going all over the place. <laughs> Her name is Lucy also, aw. <laughs> hey puppies. Roxy, do you have the wiggle tail this morning? <laughs> My goodness, dogs. You're so cute. <laughs> Good girls. 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 <laughs> uh, personnel announcement 0104. Effective today, Zach Fair has been promoted to soldier first class. 
Nice. You think flowers would grow here? Uh, probably not. Around here, you'll find junk that above plate folks throw away. Well, it may just be junk to you, but for us, it's a key source of income. Oh, do we not talk to this person? Most people who live in the slums don't have nice things to say about Shinra. I mean, That's right. <laughs> how could they? None of you Shinra people care at all about the people who are living underneath the plate. Hey, it's still awake. <laughs> I'm coming. I just had to talk to uh, the people down here. Ah! Monsters! Oh, there we go. Zach, let's run! Don't worry about it. I'll protect you. I've got this. You've got this? <laughs> oh, yeah. Stay back, okay? Uh, I think they're weak to fire. No, ice. They cast fire, I think. Oh, oh hey. There we go. There we go. You're amazing. <laughs> You're so strong. <laughs> strong. Like a monster, right? Zach, what's wrong? Nothing. Now, let's move. Hey, I looked good, right? What? She knows something's up. Dunno. Come on, flatter me. <laughs> All right, Zach. Let's go. Uh, uh, hello. <laughs> Would like a dog, but I live alone. Uh, I don't want to leave it alone all day. That is fair. That is fair, Vanos. And a good friend of ours, Strufty, uh, his dog Daisy, who is our character name in uh, Dark Souls 3, uh, I think he takes her to daycare uh, while he's at work so she can kind of play with other dogs and have some interaction throughout the day. I know that's not exactly uh, financially feasible for a lot of people, but uh, could be an option in case, you know, you want to uh, the dog to not be so alone. But that is uh, definitely a, a thing I have guilt with when I go to work and leave the dogs at home. Uh, thankfully, my wife now works from home, so they have her here all day. But uh, yeah, I feel that. Accidentally sent a silly TikTok meme to my boss's boss instead of my brother. Well, <laughs> um, well, a little bit better than that. I haven't had a chance to... Uh, accidentally text people things today maddest <laughs> i'm sorry my friend i hope they just uh number one laugh at it and maybe even react with a heart or uh, a laughing face or they never open tiktok and they'll never see it at all people who come from the slums they fall into one of two categories they either hate Shinra, or they idolize it. I'm the latter. One day, I'll find me a Shinra executive and live the good life. Oh, hey. Looking for her sugar daddy. Or mama. I'm not going to judge. They're in the States, so they haven't seen it yet. Uh, I now have to wait for several hours. Oh, no. The dread. <laughs> You have time for the fear to take hold. Shouldn't we get going? More monsters will... Okay, fine. Hey, wait! Okay, that's a weird set of lines. Shouldn't we get going and then you decide to go, wait! <laughs> so, here we are. Yep. Hmm. Something wrong? The slums look just like any other town. <laughs> of course. Lots of people live here. Yeah, is it on a platform where you can unsend it? Yeah, that's a good idea, Katie. Let's uh, let's workshop this. Thing. That gate 
There's a market. There's so many great shops there. But is it wall market though? This is a sector five slum. Beyond the gates is the market. And there's a church further down the street. The other way, beyond the rubble, is sector six. There's a park near there. The market's this way. Yeah, but I want to talk to people. Lately, the Shinra company seems to be having a lot of problems. You're not wrong. I heard that two firsts were killed in action. Not quite. Well, I guess it has nothing to do with us, really. Until it does. Hey. We have an uh, email it's from been a Kunzel. Since I came out from the country, but I still can't get used to life in Midgar. The air was cleaner back home. Here under the plates, I feel like I'm suffocating. It do be like that sometimes. Uncle, when are you coming back? Uncle's right here. What's wrong? Looking for someone? No, I'm waiting for Uncle to come back. He said that there's lots of monsters right outside of Midgar. So Uncle went with a bunch of people and left Midgar to beat up those monsters. And he hasn't come back? He is coming back! If I keep waiting here, he has to. Aww. Uncle's a really nice person. That is so sweet of you to say. When I told him I wanted to work for him one day, he smiled and he said, okay. <laughs> if you keep believing, he'll come back. I know it. Yeah. Aw, what a sweet girl. Uncle's a... When I told him I wanted to work for him one day... Uncle's a really nice person. I could just listen to that all when day. I told... <laughs> uh, man, this game has so many uh, great dialogue pieces that I want to make into memes and things for the, for the channel. <laughs> and that's one of them. If they haven't seen it, you can unsend it, old man. Nah, double down. Always double down. Maddest. You've got to be probably the most stubborn person I know. It's kind of <laughs> stuffy here. You okay? Huh, I know why. There's no sky here. Uh, we don't need this guy. But you're under you, this plate but you do though you normally miss seeing the sky no sorry I'm not normal how's that the sky frightens me like it's sucking me in weird right normal is overrated agreed Zach you think so Agreed. I know. One day, I'll show you a pretty sky. <sighs> it won't be scary. Trust me, <laughs> you're gonna love it. So when he confronts you about it, just say, yeah, I meant to send that. What of it? <laughs> huh. Looks like an interesting place. Yeah. Want to take a look? Sure. Whoa. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Be careful, huh? Okay. Sorry again. Oh, uh, what a nice kid. Man, that hurts. Huh? Wait. What the? What's wrong? My wallet's gone. Oh, oh never no. mind then. <laughs> <sighs> that little brat. He just stole my wallet. Aerith, wait here, okay? I'm gonna go catch that kid and get my wallet back. Bruno's. 
His name. Bruno? You know his name? Yeah, I know him. Just a little. He doesn't do things like that. But... If he really stole from you, I'm sure he had good reason. Hey, I'll go look for him. Zack, you wait here. Mm. All right, I'll wait here. Hey, Hegel, good morning to my favorite non-biological uncle. <laughs> Cheers, my friend. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. Cheers, cheers, cheers. But I'm pretty antsy. Yeah, I know. That obvious? <laughs> and uh, yeah, we'll let Aerith take care of him that because... Theft, no matter the reason. I'll have to give him a good scolding. We don't talk about Bruno. We don't talk about Bruno, right? Oh, of course he's doing squats to pass the time. <laughs> uh, that's it. It's my wallet that was stolen. I'm going to look for Bruno too. Oh, I guess we're talking about Bruno now. That way. And for those unaware, Hegel is doing a affiliate celebration stream uh, tonight, right? So uh, go say hello when he's live tonight. That would be much appreciated. Uh, talk to the kids. Zach. We're still setting up the number guessing game. Oh, okay. If you need materia, you've come to the right place. Everything from top of the line to cheap junk. I am a carpenter that travels all over the world. I keep my materials here. So hands off. Okay, dude. Yeah, dude. Um, so that's, was it 8.30 uh, Central Time, I think you were saying? It seems Hollander's favorite t-shirt is the one with the logo of Benora's famous canned apples. Can a guy love apples that much? Or do you suppose he has other ties to Benora? Apparently, with all the confidential information they handle, guys in the science department aren't allowed to leave the company, even if they screw up or lose in the rat race. And that puts them under a lot of stress. Maybe Hollander's t-shirt helps him relieve some of that? Huh? Okay. From Lazard. Soldier members, I thank you for your daily hard work. On the ground, beneath our aerial city of Midgar, and in the shadow of its plates, lie the slums. They also symbolize one of Shinra's distortions. There are reports of children forming gangs in the harsh environment they call home. To look away from this will surely cast a large shadow on Shinra's future growth. It is my hope that we members of Soldier can rise up to address this distortion. Apples are pretty legit. And there was a posting in the Final Fantasy VII Reddit, uh, or the subreddit, that there are some apples, I think, near, like, Fuji or something that look like the dumb apples from this game. They're like a purple uh, skin color to them. Uh, I'll have to send that to the, the Discord if I haven't already. Anything from gifts for your loved ones to common everyday use items. If you need accessories, get them right here. Well, we need one of those hair bows for sure. Blue, pink, green, and purple. Oh, are you looking for someone? Yeah, Bruno. This exit leads to the path to go above the plates. It's possible he went that way. Oh, thank you. What a nice lady. Oh, this guy's probably a jerk. Y you Oh, no, never mind. I'm just a Shinra trooper on patrol. This guy sounds very sus. Y y oh, no. Oh, nothing to see here. I'm just a trooper on patrol. Are you though? A little bit what? sus, my dude. A kid? <laughs> Go outside these gates? Nobody's gone through these gates in a while. I did not play the original. Uh, so Welcome, this is my my first time. Shop. I did not have access to a PSP back when. Hey, 
mister. Yep. All right, here we go. Did he go out from here? Did he, though? Hey, you there. You there, with the face. Did a kid come running this way? <laughs> a little boy? A little boy? Don't know. Although, children never come this way. I see. Got your pocket pick, did you? Uh huh? <laughs> Happens all the time here. But you're going to have a hard time finding the thief on your own. Ask folks around here nicely, and they might help you. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. Right. I'll ask like there's good ideas. Starters. Please, microphone, will you stay in place? He didn't go this way. But the lady said he might have gone that way. Let me think. I just saw a boy running frantically by the accessory shop. Oh, now she's changed her story. How convenient. Excuse me. Welcome. What do you need? Uh, no, I'm not shopping. All right. I'm looking for a kid named Bruno who took my wallet. Maybe you've seen him around? He looks like this. Never seen him, but I'll keep an eye out. You're the man. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, the game came out when I was in college, I think. And so Where did he go? I didn't really have time to game Millions. a whole lot anyway. Hey, mister, that's him. Get him. Whoa, whoa. This kid's pretty fast. Hey, what's the deal? Uh, he's gone. Yeah, sorry. I'm really not that quick on my feet. You had no intention of chasing him. <laughs> exactly. No, that's not true at all. <laughs> Come on, man. Zach! Hey, Aerith. Did you find him yet? Not yet, but give me time, please. Uh, how funny. Oh, hey. Hey, excuse me. I'm looking for a little boy named Bruno. He stole my wallet. Please help. He looks like this. I haven't seen... Wait, I did see him. Really? That way, I think. That way? <laughs> yes, yes, way down there. Great, thanks. Hey, wait, he's over by you. <sighs> he's gone. I love this. <laughs> They're just leading hey, me around here. What gives? <laughs> I didn't mean to trick you. I just have really bad eyesight. Oh, my goodness. First of all, the guy is slow, and now she can't see. Hmm. Very convenient. Very, very convenient. Not like this. Not like this. Come on, man. <laughs> I wonder if Aerith is still looking. All by herself. Very convenient. Hey there. I'm looking for someone. A little boy named Bruno. Yeah, I know Bruno. Humans want to find him badly. I'll bring him here for you, okay? You will? Yeah, I doubt it. Yeah, stay right here. All right, I'll be waiting. Hmm. We'll wait a little longer, why not? Wimpy, welcome in, dude. Yeah, I'm curious how long I need to wait here. Good morning, my friend. How are ya? Happy Final Fantasy Friday.
in the words of uh, Steve Rogers, I could do this all day. Ugh, that's it. How far did she have to go? But Zach Fair's a puppy. <laughs> they were within eye shot the whole time, the Zach. Took... Oh no. You talk too soon. You know, I was just about to catch him. Weren't you trying to help him get away? <laughs> no, I wasn't. That's so mean. It's not mean at all. Come on, man. <laughs> oh, I see. I'll come back. Hmm? 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 Hey, Aerith. Zach! <laughs> Did you find him yet? Um, no. But give me more time. I'll find him. The padding of this section <laughs> is out of control. Okay. Excuse me. Got a minute? What is it? I'm looking for a kid named Bruno who took my wallet. Maybe you've seen him around? <laughs> he looks like this. <laughs> Everybody knows what he looks like, Zach. He looks like this. Sure, I'll help you. Bruno, you said? <laughs> yeah, no problem. You're the man! If you see him, it'd be great if you could catch him, too. <sighs> Where did he go? There he is! Hey, mister! That's him! Get him! Ugh, he got away! <laughs> I did try to grab hold of him. But both of my arms are broken. Unfortunately, <laughs> he managed to steal my most prized materia. And well, once he used it, there was no chance. You too! You didn't even try to chase him. <laughs> Come on now, that's not true at all. Come on, man. Zach! Hey, Aerith, did you find him yet? Nope, that just a little bit longer. Is really fast. <laughs> yeah, this is ridiculous. I bet, yep. Hmm? Hey, kid. Was it you who took my wallet, by any chance? Oh, come on. You saw. I've been here the whole time. Oh, but I know yeah. Bruno. You're right. I'm sorry. It's fine. You got pickpocketed, right? If you're looking for the guy, I'll help you out. Well, I have some leads I can give you, but you have to give me a potion in exchange. You're a broker? <laughs> you can't get something for nothing, mister. But trust me, my information's good. I'm just going to do it anyway. Because the kid is living in the slums, probably having a hard time. He drives a hard bargain. I appreciate the hustle. Thank you. Oh, hey, he's right behind you, mister. Huh? What gives? He's gone. Hey, if you know where he might go... Tell me. Huh? I just gave you some information? If you want to know more, <laughs> give me another item. Give me a break. This kid is a swindler, man. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, look! There! Really? Uh, where? Hey, kid. That wasn't the information you just sold me, was it? Hey, you catch on fast. Are you ready to buy some more? You know what? I'm just going to give him some more. Thank you. Oh, look, there. Really? Uh, where? <laughs> hey, kid, that wasn't the information you just sold me, was it? Hey, you catch on fast. Are you ready to buy some more? That's enough. Not on your life. Come on, man. I wonder if Aerith is still looking. All by herself. We can't go making him rich. He's got to hustle just a little bit more. Okay, I 
I bet it's the carpenter now. Nope. Okay. The lady. Nope. The uh, officer on duty. No? Okay. So it's got to be... No, we already talked to that guy. All right. Well, we've kind of exhausted all the uh, important people, I think. Aerith, how goes? Zack. <laughs> There's no need to look so worried. It's just bad luck. Hey, why don't we look together? She doesn't want him to catch him. Don't worry about it. I'm not going to yell at him straight from the top. I'll ask him why he did it. And I'll forgive him if it was for a good reason. Really? Yes, really. Okay. Let's go look. Yeah. But we still have no leads. <laughs> if Bruno needed money, he should still be around here. Yeah. Then you stay here and keep an eye out. I'll go take a look around town. Let's try that, okay? Oh, goodness. I guess I'll take a look through the mark. No, you just said you had to go look in town. Which one is it, Zach? Huh? Aha! I found you! Uh. Whoa! Okay. No more running. Finally! All right, you know what you did was bad, don't you? You should never steal from people. Not gonna yell at him straight from the top. Proceeds to yell at him straight from the top. Zach. <sighs> because it's very, very wrong. Now, tell me why you did it. None of your business. Why you? <sighs> Bruno. Did you really steal? Yes. I see. So why did you do that? Mm. Mm. You know, Aerith believed in you. No matter what I said, she insisted you're a good boy. <laughs> you can shut me out, but tell Aerith the truth. There do you we need go. Money? Tell me why. I need Tell medicine. Me why? But my wallet was eaten by a monster. That's why I took this guy's wallet. I thought if he's your friend, he might give me a break. Bruno, this was bad. You know that. And you could Don't have asked for help. Do it again. Okay. Okay. Good. Now we're friends again. Zach, you agree? Still don't have my wallet back. So, yes. Thank you. I'm sorry. But you need medicine, right? Yeah. It's for my grandpa. Aww. You know, we could get the wallet back from the monster, but let's buy it. For, for Grandpa. Huh? Really? Zach, are you sure? Yeah. Yeah. Buy it with my money, okay? Thanks so... Wait! It's no good! There's not enough here! <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> okay, I'll get your money back from the monster. But it's dangerous. Don't you worry. Monsters around here are cake. Pretty sure they're okay. not made of uh, I'm going to. 
of baked no, goods, be Zach. Just let me handle it. Stay here and wait with Bruno. <laughs> the monsters should still be on the path that goes to the park, I think. <laughs> There's not enough yeah, here, Snowcat. <laughs> there was only a little money in there to begin with. I didn't spend any. Okay, okay, I got it. Welcome on in, by the way. My name's Uncle Wooly. This is my first playthrough of Crisis Core. Welcome on in. If you have preferred nickname, preferred pronouns, feel free to share those in chat. I want to make sure you feel welcome. Nice to meet you. And happy Final Fantasy Friday. Um, the park is this way. Hey, you! Get back inside the gate now! Hmm? Monsters! Coming out of the park in droves! Yep, that's where we're going. Park. All right, that's gotta be them. It's not all right! Everyone's <laughs> dead! <laughs> well, then you should too. You have to turn back now. Sorry, but they owe me some money. So I have to go over and collect. What, <laughs> what the hell are you talking about, guy? Relax, relax. Don't worry about me. You know, you should get behind that gate yourself. Exactly. Exactly. It's monster time. Here we go. This is them. Bruno's wallet, here I come. Activating combat mode. Oh, nope. Oh, cool. That's a cool move. Very cool. Oh, yeah. Already in the background. Oh, Hello there, and Snow are. is just fine. One Excellent. Wallet. Snow, welcome in. Is the money still inside? Welcome on in. Good to see Whoa. you. Oh. And Snow, um, I always ask people that stop by during Final Fantasy streams, uh, which was your first Final Fantasy, and which one's your favorite? Are they one and the same? Yeah, if you feel like answering that, uh, always interested in hearing people's journey through the wow, uh, Final really Fantasy got it series. Back. Amazing! Ugh, it's so sticky. Stop complaining. <laughs> At least you got it back. Zach, were you okay? No. No I got problem hurt at all. Piece of cake. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Mister. Call me Zach. If you need more help, just ask. You don't need to steal anymore. Yes. Hmm. Thanks, but you've got bigger money problems than me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Jeez, this so. kid is a brat, man. But hey, just you wait. Aerith and I, we're gonna make a fortune. Huh? We're launching Operation Midgar Full of Flowers, Wallet Full of Money. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Midgar full of flowers and wallet full of money. Aerith, for real? Yeah, for real. That's why. Haven't played this one yet. Looking for. Okay, waiting for a sale. Hooked since uh, PlayStation 2 Final Fantasy X. See, that's one I haven't played all the way through yet, uh, Snow. I started it at a friend's house and only got bits and pieces while they were doing a playthrough back on PS2. And I never have uh, gone back to revisit to uh, finally finish it. So that's one that's on my list to do soon. Uh, but I finally did the pixel remasters because I never played one through six. And so I did one through four last year and I'm looking to do five and six this year, do Crisis Core, and I'm very excited for 16. Very, very excited for 16 to come out. If you're in trouble, we can help you. All right. I'll come talk to you. Okay, mister. Aerith, thanks. 10, 10, 2, 7, OG, and remake. Ooh, very cool. Uh, yeah, so I've also done 7, 8, and 9, and 15. Uh, never played uh, 10 to you say from 7 Tucson, OG you is my favorite. Fancy in Europe -like. This is the way we talk we in talk Tucson, in Tucson Arizona. Arizona. Yeah, that's how we talk, Strufty. Welcome in, dude. And I know it's probably about the time that you take Daisy to daycare, so please give her some belly rubs from us, okay? I'll give you some free puppy cam, too. Uh, and Snow, if you haven't met my puppies, uh, the one on the left is Roxy. She's a 13-year-old Jack Russell. The one on the right 
The little floof in the corner is Lucy. She's a four-year-old Shih Tzu. And they're, they're heckin' cute. And they got their hearts all ready for Valentine's Day next week. <laughs> Zach, did you mean it? Selling the flowers? And we should buy some flowers from Aerith. Uh, we should uh, we should get on that because uh, definitely something that would go well with Valentine's Day. <laughs> and 12 started 13 but never finished. Okay. Yeah, I never did 12 or 13 or any of what there's 13, 13, 2 and 13, 3. Aren't there like three games for that? I know there's at least 13, 2. Yeah, I never did those and I never did the MMOs. So 11 or 14. And I keep hearing really good things about 14, but I also am not ready to sink that much time into an MMO. So I, I haven't had the courage to start 14 yet. Because I, I feel like it would take over my life is uh, kind of what people have been warning me about. Oh, cool. That sounds really cool. And how nice of you to uh, uh, be doing that for your uh, for your sister's cats. Of course. There's no turning back after this. I know. Let's make a wagon. A wagon? Yes, a flower wagon. With a wagon to carry lots of flowers, you could sell them all over Midgar. Huh. Oh, not feeling it? No, no, it's great. Let's do it. <laughs> Welcome in, Strufty. Good to see you, dude. Good morning. For my sister's dog, uh, just collecting old socks. Yeah, dogs do like those. Ugh, damn it. Stupid delivery servant. There's materia missing again. They must have dropped them. Uh -oh. oh. Say, friend, you look pretty quick on your feet. Well, you aren't, because you kept letting Bruno get away. <laughs> oh, yeah. I had a feeling about you. Now, how'd you like to do a job for me? You just need to collect materia you find on the street. It's really easy. Won't take long at all. All right, let's get started. To make things easier for you, I asked everyone in the neighborhood to stay indoors. So use those fast legs and go get some materia. See how quickly you can collect the 20 materia that are scattered throughout town. Your finish time will affect how much gill you receive, so be as efficient as possible. Speak to the clerk when you've collected all 20. It is an absolutely adorable uh, Amstaff. Aww. We are dog lovers around here, but uh, we also appreciate our feline friends too, so... I missed that one. Yeah, that's counting against my score, that's for certain. Oh. I see you found all 20 materia for me. Your time is... So anyway, here's what... Uh, all right. Let's try it again. Nice Can work. We try it again? I want to do that again. There's me. Oh, <laughs> you just so should I? Uh... Yeah, we love animals around here. All right, to make the so use those. I see you found your time is there we go pretty darn here good. we go so anyway all right you were really hustling nice work hey that's a better result i'm fine with that oh Aerith, here with your boyfriend today <laughs> mm -mm. i just met him hey weren't you Chasing a kid around here oh, earlier. The earth theme in the background. The local townsfolk. I thought you were some shady outsider, but it looks like you're a decent guy. Sorry I misjudged you. Here, take this olive branch. 
I have to say, though, Aerith, you won't find a decent, kind-hearted guy like this very often. This one <laughs> has my stamp of approval. I wish you both well. Aww. <laughs> you thought that? Actually, I just met him today. Oh, wait. Could we take a look? Oh, wait. Huh? You came out to go shopping? Is this where she gets her pink hair ribbon? Okay, forget it. Uh, 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 no, no, I'm joking. Go take a look. Thank you. This is a rhetorical a question. I don't want to know. I don't want to know. Do you like this store? Yeah, it's fun just looking. Hey, Aerith. Uh-huh. To pay you back for that hello, I'll buy you something. <laughs> Your offer was one date, no? <laughs> but then you said, don't be silly, remember? Well, I... <laughs> okay, a memento for today. You mean it? Of course. <laughs> okay. I want this. All right, it's yours. Hold on. How's that? Does it look right? Uh, I think so. Yeah, it looks great. Yes, yes. Thank you, Zach. I'll treasure this. Yeah. Hey, do you still have time? I guess so. Why? <laughs> Wanna go to the park? Hey, that sounds like a date. Yeah. Yeah, let's go. Come on, let's go. I love this. So, ever meet any soldier members? Maybe. Do you think that they're happy? <laughs> what do you mean? Heroes to children, protectors of the peace, but they're not normal. Normal's overrated. They get some kind of special surgery, don't they? So they say. Normal is best. I think so, at least. <laughs> Those soldier people are kind of weird. <laughs> They're weird, huh? And they're <laughs> scary. Like monsters? They fight. And they love it. Actually, I'm with Soldier. <gasps> I'm sorry. So pretty. The face? <laughs> the eyes. You like them? Then take a closer look. Eyes infused with Mako energy. A soldier trademark. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> Color of the sky, right? Uh huh. But not scary at all. I'll admit, things haven't been normal at all lately. What about you, Aerith? How's your life going? <laughs> I was thinking it would be a normal day. But then suddenly, some guy fell out of the sky. <laughs> That's not all that bad. <laughs> you think... If, if Aerith were alive today, like in our current uh, time and technology and everything, would she be listening to the song It's Raining Men? Would that be like her ringtone? It's raining men. Hallelujah, it's raining men. Amen. 
when Zack and Cloud fall out of the sky. Okay, I'm done. I'm sorry. <laughs> Tangent over. <laughs> oh. Zack, return to the Shinra building now. Genesis has attacked us. Oh. <laughs> On my way. <laughs> I'm sorry, but duty calls. Well, I guess I should get going then. Oh. Will I see you again? Of course. I hope that your friend's okay, Zack. Huh? You talk in your sleep. <laughs> yeah. It'll be fine. I know that now. Awesome. To get to the Shinra I love building, this. I have to go through the market, they said. Chocobo mode. What? They didn't hug? Oh, can we climb the... Ah, shoot. Can't play on the playground at all. So I'm planning to do Final Fantasy V after Crisis Core, Hegel. Um... I doubt I'll be able to fit 5 and 6 between Crisis Core and uh, when 16 comes out. So it's possible, you know, I might switch 16 around, but so right now it's going to be Crisis Core and 5 and then kind of see where that ends up uh, with schedule. Uh, if I'm able to start uh, 6, because uh, what I don't want to do is start 6 and then have it uh, have to stop to play 16. So we'll see. How that kind of shakes out because 16 comes out june 22nd huh looks like we've got more monsters i think five is a little bit longer than four activating combat mode uh ice Oh no, I didn't get to oh, use yeah. the uh the Aerith limit. Dang. Um yeah, so I don't plan on playing too many games uh when they release. Like I'm not gonna play RE4 remake right away when it releases on stream, but I will definitely be playing 16 right away. Activating combat mode. 16 is gonna be a, a for sure right away. Oh, come on. Conflict resolved. There we go. Oh, yeah. All right, so I need to go through the market. After acquiring certain items, the DMW may enter Chocobo mode. When all three reels match, you can call forth Chocobo and other creatures, so register for missions where you can acquire these special items. Heck yeah. If you acquire the items below, you can increase uh, the number of accessories you can equip. Uh, Keychain, uh, backpack. Increasing the number of equipable accessories will allow you to boost uh, parameters and prevent status ailments more easily and aid you greatly in clearing future missions. Hey Raspy Dude, I'm sorry I missed your uh, little lurky lurk there. <laughs> your little peeking in, that is the cutest little emote. I love that. <laughs> Oh, so many games coming out this year. Alan Wake 2 doesn't have a uh, release date yet, but that's coming out. Uh, Silent Hill 2 Remake comes out this year. Uh, Final Fantasy 16 Metroid Prime Remastered is out now. And a physical release is coming later this month. Tears of the Kingdom in May. So many dang games, man. So many. <laughs> uh, oh can be unlocked at any time by obtaining a special item. Uh, I better Maybe wait a I minute should. then. Yeah. Maybe we need to go on that mission first. Get us some chocobo mode.
Okay. Let's go ahead and do this one. Good morning. Good morning, Raspy. Happy Final Fantasy Friday. Activating combat mode. Are these weak to ice? I thought they were weak to ice. Oh, yeah. Conflict resolved. Oh, we're on the Chocobo farm. How cool. Are we going to see Chocobo Bill? Lucy, what are you doing, dog? What are you doing? <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, maybe a little bit. I mean, we are on chapter, I think, four, Raspy, but uh, oh, yeah. I do have the first three streams of this uh, out on my YouTube channel. So if you are keen on catching up there, uh, it is available. You know, if you don't have anything better to do. <laughs> um, but uh, that's over on my socials link there, in case you're interested Activating in Activating combat mode. There we go. Oh, yeah. Give me the treasure, please. Have you played Crisis Core at all, Raspy? Activating combat mode. I am loving it so far. It is such a good game. Oh, should we do? Yeah, let's summon Bahamut. Four months over. <laughs> Mega flare this little hedgehog. <laughs> Stood a chance. Oh, Conflict yeah. Resolved. All right. Looks like that's the last of the monsters. Now, where's that treasure? Ah. What? For one of treasures kept secret. Oh, Yuffie. It did sound like it was worded by Yuffie. Um, I was asking Raspy if they played Crisis Core before. Ugh. Two, to deliver dreams to her homeland. Aww. Three, make way, cause here she comes. I'm the treasure princess. Hear me roar. <laughs> hey, you're that weird kid I met in Wutai. Sucker, what were you expecting? You stole your perv. What? I'm no sucker, and I'm certainly <laughs> no perv. My name is Zach. So, what are you, lost or something? You I'm not lost! I'm here to take your treasure! All of it! For the glory of Wutai! Oh, you ready! <laughs> hey, why don't you just admit that you're lost? Be honest. Treasure <laughs> <laughs> <Measure> quest... <laughs> Failed... Oh no. <laughs> Wait, I made her cry? Did I do something wrong? Should I have humored her little game a bit more? Also, who the heck is she? Sweet. Chocobo stomp. We didn't get all the treasure though. That's alright. We can always replay missions, right? After acquiring a chocobo feather or other special items, a DMW may enter chocobo mode. All real images will change into chocobo mode images, and if they match, a corresponding limit break uh, move will be added to your stock. However, uh, there may sometimes be duds. <laughs> In true chocobo fashion. Oh, we got an email from the treasure princess. You passed the test, so you're now my ally. And as my ally, 
you'd better start working. Somewhere in the ravine, there's supposed to be a treasure hidden by Shinra's accounting department. Go dig that sucker up. The boss's orders always stand, and I'm the boss. Naturally. You have no right to refuse. Got it? Good luck. <laughs> you made her cry. I'm so proud. <laughs> So, Raspy, I do plan on doing Final Fantasy V. It's just uh, I wanted to get through Crisis Core uh, before then. So That's why we're taking a, a little bit of a break from the Pixel Remasters. So we can get through... Uh, so we can get through Crisis Core. All right. Let's do this thing. Let's do the thing. Hey! Hey! Hmm? Oh, hey, Bruno. Mister, you're leaving? It's a good thing I caught you. Here, I wanted to give you this Aww. material before you go. I promise I'll never steal again. That's why I want you to keep this for me. Well done. The boy who steals is no longer stealing anything, so he gave me the steal material. Love it. Gotta love it. <laughs> hey, good for you, kid. I'm glad I was a good role model. Mister, don't use that materia to do bad things. Of course not. <laughs> well, never mind that. There was one more thing I wanted to say. Mister, you and Aerith are okay together, I guess. Well, where is this coming from? Between you and me? I'm pretty sure Aerith is really sweet on you, mister. Well, I'm rooting for you, okay? If Aww. you need help, come talk to me, okay? See ya! What a sweet kid. What a sweet kid. Hmm. Looks like I gained a lot of trust. <laughs> well, I'll hold on to this materia then. The building! Genesis, you traitor! Why do this? Oh man, I want to proceed further. Let's do one side mission real quick. Um, some of its cargo has drifted to a desert. I think 7-2 was one where we could get, uh, yeah, let's do this one real quick. Uh, location one of Genesis underground equipment bunkers, destroying the facility, uh, would put a heavy dent in the reinforcements, go there immediately, infiltrate the site, crush the enemy, and collect their equipment. Yeah, let's go ahead and do this one real quick. Anything back here? Nope. Activating combat mode. Oh, chocobo mode. You're in for it now. Sweet. I love that a lot. <laughs> Conflict resolved. Oh yeah. Yeah, I bet there's treasure back here. Just a little bit of a battle. I forgot I could uh, sprint in this one. Okay. Activating combat mode. Bring it on! Oh, 
Oh, yeah, I want to see this one. Good luck. Thanks. Oh, I like that a lot. That is really cool. Conflict resolved. Oh yeah. Okay. Is this the right way? Nope. Activating combat mode. Let me give you a hand with the flowers. No, it's fine. These flowers? They only want to be tended to by me. Seriously? Bringing out the big guns! Good luck! Thanks! Oh, that didn't kill it. Conflict resolved. There we go. Oh yeah. Activating combat mode. Mega Flare. <laughs> oh, yeah. Resolved. Okay. Maybe there's treasure. Oh, yeah, there is treasure up here. There's the last one. Hoping I could do a no damage on one of those. Oh, wrong button. Activating combat mode. are so cool in this. I love how they've uh, done that system. Oh. Didn't get the cast off in time. Conflict resolved. The magic finish. Activating combat mode. Genesis clone.
Let me give you a hand with the flower. There we go. Sweet. Yeah, that was worth it to do one more, one more mission here. Before we end things for the morning. Unfortunately, Fridays are the ones I really have to stick to schedule. After you acquire the item Fusion Tome, you will be able to add items when performing Materia Fusion. Certain items are effective at raising specific parameters, so check your results carefully and work toward creating the ideal Materia. Materia parameter values such as Magic plus 5 are determined by the source Materia in Fusion, but parameter altering items such as Fat Chocobo Feather will be given priority if used during Fusion. Hey, thanks for the new follow. That is much appreciated. Uh, allowing for results that differ from that of standard Materia Fusion. There we go. Very cool. Alright. Let's drop ourselves a nice little save. We are on Chapter 4 on the Sector Zero Highway. And that's where we're going to end things for the morning. Let's go to our title screen. Hegel, I can give you a fiery bean before we raid out. I can definitely do that. And we'll just keep the music here. This. I'll pop over to our camera. <laughs> puppies. You don't want any of this, puppies. This is uh, not good for dog music. Cayenne. Good little spicy way to start the day. Thank you, Hegel. Cheers, my friend. slow burn. <laughs> kind of a bit of a slow burn this morning. So just in case you forgot, Hegel is going live later today with uh, his affiliate celebration stream. So be sure to uh, go say hello to Hegel. Uh, I believe you're doing a dead space giveaway. Am I correct? Uh, also, I think our friend uh, V is going... Uh, live today after being away for a bit and being sick uh so please be sure to also go say hello to vithika 13 today and i'm not sure of anybody else that's going live today i know that uh i know that plummies is off this week mattis dog uh is off the rest of the week i think that's where we're at uh i know who we're gonna raid i just need to see if they're live yet is the only thing. I'm pretty sure uh, he is. Yes, he is live. So it's our friend's uh, birthday today. Prince Leo is celebrating uh, a birthday stream today and playing some Resident Evil. So I'm going to give a shout out to Prince Leo so you know where we're raiding to in case you get lost in the raid. So oh, there you go. And normally we would do uh, Wooly You Be My Valentine raid, but... We're going to do a birthday raid. So we're going to do... Happy birthday. So let me just uh, get this put in here. Danger May! My goodness. Sneaking in at the end. <laughs> Thank you so heckin' much for 19 months. How is that possible? Tell me how that's possible. Thank you very, very, very much. Can we get some hearts in chat for Danger Mate, please? Thank you very much for that. Uh, let's see here. We're going to throw our raid messages in. There's for the subs. Non-subs, don't worry. I got you covered. Just give me just one minute. Uh, let's see here. And I need to copy the birthday message. And Danger May is returning to streaming as well. Danger May is streaming today and tomorrow, if I'm not mistaken, right? So today you're doing Seven Days to Die, 
and tomorrow some World War Z, or is it the other way around? I'm having trouble remembering. Short-term memory problems. Short-term, long-term wooly problems. <laughs> But uh, definitely go say hello to Danger May uh, and welcome her back to streaming on Twitch this weekend. That would be much, much appreciated. All right, so we got our birthday raid messages there. And again, we're going to say hello to Prince Leo. So I'm just going to give Prince Leo one more shout out here. And I don't need my caps lock on. <laughs> Night around six or seven, World War Z. Okay, so World War Z aftermath is tonight. Alright, so that's where you can find us in case you get lost in the raid. We're raiding over to Prince Leo. Here are the birthday raid messages one more time. There we go. Not sure about tomorrow. Oh, seven days for Sunday. Okay. Thank you for correcting me. And thank you very, very much for 19 heckin' months. I can't believe it's been that long. It's uh, mind-blowing to me. But thank you. I, that is very, very appreciated. Thank you very, very much. All right, we're going to go wish happy birthday to Prince Leo. If you can stick with with the raid, that would be greatly, greatly appreciated. If you want to keep up outside of stream, uh, all of my socials are here, including uh, Twitch VODs, uh, some YouTube uh, exclusive stuff, and Discord, all that stuff. If you're looking to join the Discord, it is manual approval. Just want to make sure everybody's uh, safe from hate raids and that type of stuff. So if you have joined and you don't see all the channels right away, uh, just... Be patient. I'll get you approved and uh, you'll be able to see everything. Okay, we're going to kick this raid off. Thank you everybody for joining this morning. I just need a couple more uh, shout outs for Mattis Dog and Paco. Uh, Paco doesn't stream, so we'll give a shout out to Mattis Dog. Thank you uh, for the gifted sub to Katie. That is much, much appreciated. Sincerely, thank you very, very much. All right. I think we can kick off the raid now. Thank you for the new follows today as well. All the new friends we made. That is very, very appreciated. Nice to meet all of you. And hey, it's the weekend. It's Pints Day, as Mattis Dog would say. So uh, enjoy the weekend, my friends. Take care of yourselves. Stay hydrated. Uh, especially if you have to go get piercings tomorrow. And uh, <laughs> take care of each other. Uh, and cheers, everybody. Have a great weekend. We'll catch you on Monday with uh, Dark Souls 3. Take care.